AI content creation is getting so good to the point where you can create professional looking movie scenes from just a couple of images. Hi guys, my name is Omri from AI Academy and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Kling inside of Higgs field to create movie style transitions using the first and end frame. Now if you're interested in more AI videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We have a ton of other ones for content creations, app creation, and anything you could think of. But yeah, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is sign up for Higgs field. Now in order to do the same thing we're doing for this video, you only need the basic plan because it includes a Kling 2.1. So if you have Gemini, you can generate your images with Nano Banana in Gemini and then move over here. But if you don't want to do that, use the Pro. And yeah, the basic plan includes 150 credits per month, two concurrent generations, Higgs field soul and character creation, which is basically a way to upload 20 images of yourself and get a character that you can use in a bunch of different AI generated images. The basic plan also includes video models such as their light models, the standard model, Hilo O2, Cdance Pro and Kling 2.1, as well as image and video upscaling features. Now the plan that I have is the pro plan for $29 a month. It's 17 if you get it for the whole year. And this plan has 600 credits per month, three concurrent generations, soul and character creation, which is the Higgs field soul. The video models included are the light standard turbo, VO3, Hiluo O2, Cdance Pro and the Kling 2.1. With this plan, you also get editing features for the images. So it's this tab right here, the edit tab. You also get the image and video upscaling features. They start and end frame controls. So this is specifically what we're doing now. And you also get access to the Google Nano Banana. So yeah, for the purpose of this video, I do recommend getting the Pro if you're trying to do the same thing that we are, but let's get into it. And last thing real quick, if you do need a lot more credits, if you're trying to generate a lot of content for social media, the ultimate plan is $49 per month, which is also 29.4 a month if you get the annual package. And this plan includes 1200 credits, four concurrent generations, sole character creations and their UGC builder. Video models such as the Light Standard Turbo, VO3, Hiluo O2, Cdance Pro, Kling 2.1. And it also includes the image editing features, the image and video upscaling, standard and end frame control, preview upcoming features. Basically, this means that you get early access to different features. And in this plan, you also get access to the Google Nano Banana. And with this version, you also get Kling 2.1 Master, which basically means you have unlimited generations for Kling 2.1. Now, first thing we want to do is grab our first frame and last frame pictures. So what we want to do is go to Nano Banana and in Nano Banana, we can either upload an image or use an image that we already generated with Higgs field. So for this one, I'm going to be using this image right here that I generated. And once we have the image that we want uploaded, we want to recreate it and make it different in order to make the last frame over video. So let's say this is the first frame. The last frame would be this car, but we are in a snowy mountain. And now we just wait for our image to generate and let's see what it comes up with. Perfect. So as you can see, we have the rear version of this image. So we downloaded it. And what we want to do now is go to video, click clean 2.1. And then we have our start frame right here. So we'll upload this, use it as the start frame. And then for the end frame, we'll do it the other picture. A lot of the times what I'll do is let the AI figure out what I want. And then if it's not right, then I'll change it and add the prompt. So while this one is generating, let's go to our images and try another thing. So we have a image of me right here in a jet. Let's try this out. And while that's loading, let's go to our video and see what it generated. So we have our video here. Cool. So it looks like it generated a video of the car driving backwards and going from this to the next frame. So what we could do is say drone shot panning left of the car driving forward. And then we could try again. And once while that's loading, let's go back to our nano banana and see if we can generate another image. But yeah, other than what we are trying to do with the start image and end image, they have a lot of templates here that you can use in order to make kind of realistic movie scenes. And as you can see, this bear just randomly walked into the frame. And even in this one, they have the lady just pulling out a gun and shooting these monsters from Starship Troopers. Cool. So we have our video. Let's see if it was able to fix the driving backwards. And if it was not, we could just iterate and fix it. So the thing with AI tools, they're not perfect. You just have to keep trying and trying until you get something that you like. And once you get something that you like, it's starting to look really, really good. Okay. So the car is still driving backwards. The transition was a lot smoother. So what we can do is replace this original picture right here with a different picture. And in order to create the different picture, guess what we could do? We could just do the same thing with Nano Banana. So we'll just take this snowy picture, tell it to add a different background and have this car driving on PCH and we'll generate that. And while that's generating, we can create a video with this image right here. Now, I think with this type of tool, we need to give it a lot simpler animations so we can actually test out how complex things can get. So what 
what we'll do is take the picture of me in the jet and take a picture of me standing next to jet and see if it can get me to walk next to it. Dang, okay, cool. So before we do that, we can just do this and just download this image and add it to our current generation right here. So we'll just add it to here. And now that we have these two images, we can just press generate. And I think since the car is from behind in both photos, it'll be a lot better. Cool, so it seems like this video tool is really good at very simple stuff. So finally, we got a decent video out of it. But the whole purpose of this is that you can make these cool transitions in one go from a frame to a frame. And if you're making a reel or some sort of movie scene, obviously it would be in a different aspect ratio. You can convey the time passing by just adding something like this to it. So it's just a car driving and then it's fast forwarding onto the snow. So yeah, that's one of the use cases of this tool, but they have a lot of different ones right here for the examples. So you could just get creative and do a bunch of different things. Like here, for example, they have a monster coming out of the ground. Here they have an aquarium that's flooding up the area and basically making the girl go underwater. And here they have a girl turning into a dog with a little portal animation. Here they have a guy just disappearing completely. But yeah, you can get super creative with this and use different prompts in order to create different things or just use their presets. Now again, AI is not perfect. As you saw, it took me three different tries in order to get something that I kind of liked, but I do recommend trying this out. Higgs Field has a really good pricing and the amount of credits that I used is basically trivial. As you can see, I still have used 0% of my credits. So it's not that much for these generations. And yeah, just try it out, mess around and feel free to send me your results. And yeah, comment down below what you ended up making with Higgs Field. And I hope you enjoy the video. I will see you in the next one.